O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. you 
Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsory of Psalm. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths, guide me in your truth, and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Remember, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. <coughs> the Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me. I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he, put, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father.
Christ be born of God. Toilet paper. Since their father, there's no more food. They ran out of food. They don't know what to do. And to console her, he said, let's close our eyes and pray. And they did. Suddenly, she opened her eyes. The toilet paper is gone. It's on my heart. <laughs> Pray for our parishioners who are worried and anxious and are dealing with these hard times, but most especially to those who are already afflicted also with the disease. Um, in the first reading, Daniel, Prophet Daniel, Azariah, cried out to high heavens invoking the covenant and the goodness of God, the, the mercy of God, that they not be reduced further to, to, uh, to nothing. And so our hope is in the Lord who has shown great mercy and his fidelity to us um, in these times. And we pray, we continue to pray, even our homes individually. What is good too in this time is that we try to discern the more important things of life. Um, maybe we haven't really uh, taken awareness or consciousness of things that are important. Um, we go back to our homes, be with our family, this time with them. Uh, it's a forced retreat, if you can put it that way. And we search the scriptures for answers. We search the wisdom of God for answers. And with the global out of uh, the everything, uh, the planet is also enjoying this time of recovery. So there are many good things to that happen. And we hope that have a reprieve and there will be a, a solution to it. Uh, we pray for our medical staff, our, our researchers, doctors, those who take care of the sick. And we pray that we are spared from the, the virus. In the, in the gospel, the Lord reminds us of how we should deal with one another. Sin always offends both sides. Not just the sinner or the person who is wrong, but uh, as the Romans would say, the wages of sin is death. Because yeah, it will bring nothing but death. Uh, wounds and hurts and uh, sufferings. So spiritual death is when people cannot forgive, uh, cannot heal. And uh, the, the prescription that Jesus gives us is to forgive the way God forgives. And uh, Peter, when he asked Jesus how many times, he was thinking like you and me. Maybe three times is too much. Right? But Jesus said no. The way We learn that I'm sure we have the heart of God because uh, the heart of God is uh, that much. Uh, and God stops counting actually, uh, even when we sin. But He forgives us when we are remorseful. So, in this time of Lent, and in this time of uh, dealing with this epidemic or pandemic, we ask the Lord to grant us healing, both spiritual and physical. And now, of course, our collective retreat together, which brought us to this point. Uh, we don't know how to, to act and do our things. It, change, it changes a lot of our way of life, but at the same time, we look forward to God. We 
do for the more important things in life. And that's our time for each other, a time for the Lord, a time to pray, a time to recollect, a time to reflect on His works. Amen. Let us all stand and pray. The Lord assured us that when two or three gathered in His name, He is with us. We therefore lift up our needs and petitions and prayers. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the church, our Pope, our bishops, our priests, our missionaries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders, those who, who work in the medical team, that they may seek solutions and give us guidelines on how to deal with this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Session, Lord, Blessed Mother, for the perpetual love that in the world we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Seek in peace. Lord, we pray that this same sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Amen. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, Almighty, Lord our God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our simple pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise we acclaim. all of you and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he takes the chalice and holding it, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, 
take place all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Behold, brethren, Jesus Christ, who commanded us to forgive our sins, forgiven us. Blessed are we who are invited to his banquet of eternal life. Oh, Lord, 